everybody. It's Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and as promised last week, um, I've got a new what's new for you. So we got a couple different orders checked in. I did not get Honey Bee done like I thought that I would. Leslie's actually working on it right now. Um, I was working on a couple of the distributor orders, but we did get, let's see, we've got one, two, two, um, two good orders for you. It's like three, four different companies in this order. So I'm gonna be showing you some great new Nouveau drops, um, restocking some great Copic markers. We got in a reorder on Lawn Fawn. So a lot of you that were waiting on Lawn Fawn, and I do have one more Lawn Fawn order out there, but um, some of the Lawn Fawn you guys were waiting on is here. And then I got a great order in from Pink Fresh. So I cannot wait to show you that one too. So I am gonna flip the camera around and that way you guys can check out what's new, all right? Okay, so first we're gonna start off with um, Copic markers. So we got a great, restock on our Copic markers so grays a lot of our aquas and greens are back in and then beautiful fall colors right here so if you are shopping online and you just go to just type in Copics and these should all pop up and then I even added in a few sketch markers this time now just a quick little what's the difference between the two other than what you see with size they are the same all right they both have um, the same tips this one has a brush tip and a chisel tip just like the chow does um, this one here when i say size i should say more so shape they do hold just a little bit more in the sketches than what the, these right here are called chow so the chows are around tips are exactly the same but the thing between the two of them is sketch comes in all the colors Chow only comes in, um, I mean, it's more than half, but I forget like 170 something colors. So there's still a lot, but what I like to do um, is I will piece in some of the sketch markers that go great with the blending families for the chows. Um, and, I, and I do that because that way you can complete your set and why I don't do all the sketches, I guess I should say that, the sketches are a little bit more. So I can always order sketches if you just like the way the sketch feels better in your hands. I can always order any of the colors that you want in sketch, but I have just always chosen to do the, to do the chows because you can get almost, you can get two markers for almost the price of one. So these are $5.49, these are $7.29, and these I sell at five for 25 um, whenever you pick them up in the store. So like I said, you can get almost two of these for the price of one of those. And I would just prefer to have more colors. Um, that's my personal choice. So that's always been the fixture that I've stocked. But like I said, I do pick up some of the sketches. Um, if you're doing the chows, you just kind of need these to complete your, your set, if that makes any sense. So if you if you use Copics, I, that should make sense to you. I'm trying to see if I got any of them. Like, what did I get? See, I just kind of pieced in what was getting low. Like, this is G12. Okay, so we've got a G12 and a G17. And then on the shelf, I'm sure that we've got a G15 like or a G14 in a chow. So then these will complete your blending set. This one here is an R24. And then I'm sure that on the shelf, I have like an R22 or an R26. So then that way, this is in the middle. Can't get it in one of these. So that way you can complete your blending set. And then same thing with the B14. So I bet there's like a B11 and a B16 over there um, in this shape. But you need this guy to really blend the family really well. So anyway, lots of new Copics in. And then let's run through some of the Nuvos. Look at all the fun Nuvos, love them. First of all, Nuvo Glue is back in stock. I know this was out for a couple weeks, so I'm super excited to have this back on the shelf for you guys. This is one of my most favorite glues. It's nice and thick. It dries fairly quick, but you still have some moving time and you do have a nice small tip on there too. So I love my Nuvo adhesive. All right, and then let's look at some of the colors. So this one here is called Gold Coast. That is a glitter. 
This one here is just one of the regular enamel. So this is gonna look at enamel dot when it dries, and this is just basic black. Here's another enamel looking one. This one is called Windsor Wine. Here's a glitter. This is a chocolate glitter. This was actually came in as a special order, chocolate fondue. I love this one. This one here is called Summer Sunrise. It's a glitter. Then we've got another enamel, party pink. This one here is really pretty when it dries, autumn red. And rhubarb crumble. Then in our greens, we got this one here. You can see it's got a little bit of an iridescent to it. This one is called soft mint. This one is just a regular animal, sprig of mistletoe. This one here is again one that's got a little bit of a pearl sheen, bottle green. Here's a glitter, sunlit meadow. This one here, it's going to dry kind of a blue color, but it also glows in the dark. So that is really fun on cards, glows in the dark. And this one is called Blue Crush. Another glitter, this one here is called Dazzling Blue. Just a regular enamel, ripened pumpkin. Here's one of those more pearl ones, autumn pearl. And then finally, a regular enamel, and this one is called Buttermilk, just a gloss. Now, yes, okay, so that's what I was going to just talk about, Diana. Thank you for asking. So what do you do with these guys? So you can just use them for dots. I like to even do um, word cutouts with my die cuts and go over them with these, and then they look like enameled words, so that's really fun. If you are into mixed media, you can actually actually mix these into your different medium. So if you've got texture paste, you can put in that. Uh, modeling paste, which a lot of them are just kind of the same, it can go in that. If you use light and fluffy from um, the Crafters Workshop, it can be mixed into that. So you can mix this into things as well too and create colors and you can even um, use you know paintbrush and paint it on things as well. Just make sure you put your paintbrush in water right away so it doesn't dry on there, just like anything, just because it does have, um, uh, you know, it's not as watery as like an acrylic paint. It is thick, but there are so many things that you can do with these. But yes, for sure, dots and lines, but then you can also mix it into things to make custom colors. So it's a lot of fun. Now, one thing I don't think you can do is use it um, as like a spray. I don't think you can water it I, you know, it's too thick for that. You could certainly try it if you've got an old spray bottle to see if you can get a custom, um, but I just don't think it's gonna mix right and color right for that. You know, how you can use your reinkers and things like that to make your own custom sprays. I don't think you can with these, but I have used it to color chipboard before. I've mixed it in, like I said, with my different modeling paste, things like that, and love it. Especially because, you know, I, I may want to do a green through my stencil, but I may not have a green texture paint or texture paste. So that way you can just mix this in and get all kinds of fun custom colors with that. So that is one way to use them. But I do think that most people use them just as dots and accents, but there's so many more things that you can do with those to really get you know that bang for your buck for them, okay? All right, so let's move on to our Lawn Fawn reorder. So some that we had already sold out of, and they are back in. This one is that Simply Celebrate Fall. We've got that in now the Stamp and the Die back in stock. Snowball Fight, Stamp and Die back in stock. This beautiful frame, that sold out right away, and that is called, oh, there it is, Snow Flurries Backdrop. That is back in stock. The super cute, this matches this set. Now, of course, you don't have to use it with it, but you've got Happy Halloween. Hope you have a spooktacular day. Wishing you a very sweet day. So grateful for you. When things get a little nutty, it's perfect for that one. Um, you are the apple of my eye. I'm like, I'm grateful for you. Can you even use that there? So this is a great sentiment set to go with that stamp set. This one here is not from the new release. This is just an older one. Um, and I didn't realize we were out of it on the shelf and I actually had a special order for it. And I was like, oh yeah, that is a really good one. I need to get that one back in. So this one is that giant happy birthday. Fill the barrel with the apples. That's back in stock. 
the hot foil. So again, this is what you're going to use with one of your foiling machines. It's not a die cut. It goes with the foiling machines. And this is the Snowflake Duo. The Build a Snowman. He's so cute. Is back in stock. And let's walk over to, because we still, sorry, I'm trying to go too fast to make you dizzy. We still have a lot of that lawn fawn over here out. So here is that Build a Snowman sample. There he is. And that's also using the birch stencil in the background. Um, this die is not back in stock. This is on the other lawn fawn order, but here is that snowball fight right there. So there's a sample of that one. And then I also have a sample of that apple build a barrel. So there are some samples with those just to give you an idea how cute those are. All right, let's go back over. Do, do, do. Also got back in, um, so on that peekaboo card where you popped up, that is the paper used on this. And this paper sold out the first day. So the six by six pads, I just got back in. The 12 by 12 pads will be back in soon. They are on the other Lawn Fawn order. So you can see they are foiled. Look how fun these are. So you've got a regular and a foil, regular and a foil. All right, so there's the six by six pad, got back in stock, and then just a couple other little things. So we got in the paper distressor for Tim Holtz. Um, we were out of the little Xyron sticker maker refills, got those back in. We got back in our quarter inch double-sided tape. And now this is kind of cool. And you're gonna see in an order, probably that'll get checked in tomorrow, another option as well. So if you've been watching some videos and stuff, you've been seeing people making the whole front of the card shaker cards. Well, Tonic has those pre-made for you. So these are for your A2s and they are used to create that full face shaker card. Um, you can see it's got adhesive around the edges. So you're just gonna glue that and kind of wrap that around your card. How cool is that? You've got five of them in here to create those little shakers. So that is from Tonic, and I'll just as a little teaser, I have dies to do this too coming. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so now let's check out, um, let me grab my water here. As you can see, I'm still, still fighting a little bit of this cold. It's like been lingering for too long. All right, I know I will also give you an update on what we have left for Simple Stories too over there. Okay, so Pink Fresh came in today. In Pink Fresh, what I got for you was nested hexagons. So you've got, let's see here, you've got 10 different dies in there. That's a good size set. And that is, oh, look at that, less than 20 bucks. That's a good deal. Then we've got the sparkling diamonds. So this is going to give you kind of a textured front. Some foiling. This one is happy birthday. So again, these won't cut. These are for your hot foil plates. And then there's a cute little happy birthday. All right, and then let's look at this other stuff. So I'm really excited. So you guys have seen before the sunflowers. So I got the sunflowers back in and the stencils and we did have the dies. They all completely sold out of the box before I even got the order checked in. But I did get back in the fall washi and the regular washi. So I've got both of those in for you, okay? Um, this one here, now we've had this before, but now it's here complete all at the same time. So this is called Joyful Bouquet, and you've got this beautiful stamp. It comes with a stencil that you can add on, the dies, and the washi, and check out the washi. It is foiled, it is so, so pretty. So I'm gonna flip this over, one of these here. There we go. So then you can kind of see what you're getting. So again, you've got the stamp option. Then you can also add the stencil, so you can give it that you know stenciled look, or you're gonna use your ink blending with your brushes and your inks. And then you can die cut that all out. And this is one where they also make the washi to match it. So, so pretty. All right, so that one there is Joyful Bouquet. And we've got all the pieces in for that. 
This one here is a new one for us. This is called Hydrangea and Rose. Hydrangea and Rose has a stamp set. Hold it up so you can see it. Such a pretty stamp set. Sentiments are, don't forget to take care of yourself. Or, so, no, don't forget to take care of your soul. Just because you are such a good friend, still thinking of you, and your moment is happening right now. So really good sentiments in there. There is your stamp. This one does not have a stencil, but it does have a die, and it also has washi. And it also has the foiling in the washi, and then you can see here from the picture what that washi looks like. So pretty. All right, next one, this one is one of my favorites, and we've never had it completely in stock because pieces sell out before everything gets here. So this one is called Anemone Magic. I just love the shapes of these flowers. So you've got your flowers in here. Sentiments you've got, I hope you feel beautiful today. You are such a beautiful soul that people crave your vibes. Aw, don't be too, uh, don't be busy doubting yourself why others are intimidate, intimidated by your potential. That's a good little uplifting one too. So we've got stamp, all right? There is a die cut for it. There's also a stencil. So that way you can stencil it. See how pretty that is? And then here is the washi. Check out the washi, friends. Is that not gorgeous? I love how watercolored it is. I mean, that gold foiling in there is absolutely stunning. Love, love, love that one. So Anemone Magic. This next one I've got for you, this one was a special order, and that's the whole reason for this order. So um, Becky Shepherds, you'll see her popping on here all the time. She asked me about a poinsettia set, and I was just like, well, I haven't seen a poinsettia set. It was from last year, but it is so pretty, um, and my distributor had already discontinued it because it was last year's, but it is so, so beautiful. I'm like, heck yeah, I am totally getting this in from you guys because it is, I love it. So you've got this beautiful wreath right here. You've got all these other little flower clusters. And so check it out the way they've done the poinsettias. I'm really feeling like you could color this in in like blues and purples, you know, sage greens, and it's not going to look wintry at all. Now this one here, that's got the holly. That might be a little bit of a push, but you know, a lot of these, I think you can get away with using and just coloring them, but not seasonally. Um, stamps, you've got Seasons Greetings and Thinking of You at Christmas. So this one is a stamp set. It's got the die that matches. It's got the stencil as well. So I'm gonna flip it over so you can see kind of that stenciled look and check out the washi. Look how pretty that washi is. Here is that washi set right there. So we actually have this all complete too. So excited about that. Just look how pretty that is. Is that not gorgeous? Love it. Um, how many do you get on here? You get about 40 on here. So that's kind of a question you're asking. You've got about 40 on here. So, and you know, each one, when we've done them just from one run through, we can usually make two or three cards um, from what we cut out in one pass. So you, you get quite a bit in those. All right, some other little things that we got back in stock. Your guys' rainbow sentiments that everyone loves. Love these for quick and easy, not even quick and easy cards. I just love them for my cards because sometimes you don't have all the sentiments that you need or you're just kind of over your, your same happy birthday stamp all the time or maybe you've already sent it to her before or him before. But little ones like treat yourself, you're amazing, here's to you, oh happy day, I just love what you do, have gratitude for how you have grown. Uh, so there's just a lot of them that you may not have stamps for. So this is a good little set and for six bucks, you can't beat it. You get, pop that number down, 41 different sentiments in there. Then we got in and more of the foiled ones. This one, these are foiled. You get 39 in this pack. So the ones you're gonna have in here, things like so cool, you have a heart of gold, congrats, happy birthday, you deserve this, hello friend, you got this, you have always been my sunshine, all get well soon, own your magic, totally cheering you on. So lots of great ones in there, and again, just for right around six bucks. 
um, some restocks on their inks. So we got in the blue blending set here. This one is called Morning Sky. We got in the Fairy Dust blending set. That's your pinks. Uh, another one that we got in, this one is called Sweet Leaves. So it does a cute little frame and then also a little die cut piece that you could use on something else. But I love this little frame. And so then the die will cut out the frame and then there's also that little piece in there as well. And then the other one we got in, I even had time to make you guys a sample. So excited about that. All right, so this one here is called Brushed Sentiments. And here's the die set. And then here, those are the ones I did. I'm gonna pop this over for a second. There we go. And this is the stencil set. It doesn't look like much. That's why I cut the sample so you guys can see. So you've got all these great words. Happy, you, hello, love, more, thank, birthday, you, wishes, best, congrats, I. So you could do like, I love you, thank you, um, happy birthday, uh, best wishes, congrats, you know, congrats, hello, um, there's all, you know, all kinds of things that you can, color, you know, combinations that you can do in this one. So what I did is I did the, the bottom part here. So you've got three different stencils in there. And these work great because they do have their blending sets, so you wouldn't even have to worry about your colors. I did use my Catherine Pooler ink, so that's just what I had open in here. So I've got three different colors on there, but look how fun those are. Didn't those just turn out neat? Love these. They were quick and easy, and look too. Look at all the little detail, all those little inside, pieces cut out as well. I mean, it looks like dies that you would have bought already cut like this. So, so fun. So I really, really like those. I thought those were neat, but again, you know, just seeing it like this and like that, um, you don't really get a good idea of how it's going to turn out. So I did do samples of those for you guys. Super, super fun. I think it would be neat too if one of the layers you went through with like one of your glitter texture paste or something, your, your glitter gels, just to give them a little pop on one of the layers. Or you could go over the whole thing whenever you're done, just to kind of give it a little, little burst of something. Go over it with some glossy accents, make the whole thing shiny. That would be fun too. So I think, whew, all right, so that is all the new stuff we got checked in today. Um, little updates here, Simple Vintage Christmas, how we're looking there. Um, we are complete, we got one enamel dot left. Um, we have two other bits and pieces. How much are the word guys? Let me see, find that. They are 30, they're 30, 29. We've got, I think, two of the frames left two of the six by eight pads left. We are still doing good on the um, chipboards though. We've got a couple of the foams left, so we're doing good there. It is this October 31st that is that is almost gone. So we are doing fine on paper pads. Paper pads were good. Um, we are totally out of the enamel dots. We are down to just two washies. We've got four brads three frames, three pumpkins, so they're half gone. Bits and pieces, we've got just five left, so those are over half gone. Oh, perfect, Monica, I see it. I'll take those up for you. Clusters, those are over half gone. Uh, six by eight pads, we're down to five, so those are over half gone. And then the page pieces, we only have three left of those. Super cute. So that was, um, I think that was Friday that I showed you guys this stuff. I'm pretty sure Friday. So if you want to go back, you can even check on YouTube. That should be up on there. But you can also comment from here. But if I did a much more in detail with what was in all this stuff. But these are the two new simple storylines we got in October 31st. Uh, simple Vintage October 31st. And then the first one that I showed you was Simple Vintage Christmas Lodge. And it is almost sold out too. 
I don't, I haven't checked a lot of these. I don't think this one um, is sold out at Simple Stories yet, though, like how the October 31st is. So, anyway, um, yeah, I think that was, yeah, I think that was it. Okay. Woo. All right. So, there you go, friends. So, we got in, if you're just jumping on um, from the beginning, kind of the recap, we've got in new Copic markers. We've got in new Nuvo. We've got a little reorder for some Lawn Fawn um, that I ordered right away. And then I've got another Lawn Fawn order coming that I think I ordered like two days later after the release. Um, this was some of the stuff we sold out on day one. Uh, and then some of the stuff was already sold out at Lawn Fawn. So then I waited a couple days. They got it back in stock. And so I've got another order coming with that stuff as well too. And then also some great new stuff from from Pink Fresh. And then hopefully tomorrow I will have Honeybee to show you guys. Lots of great new stuff in Honeybee. And then also a distributor order. So lots of just, you know, reorders and fun stuff from the warehouse. So, all right, everyone. Well, I'm Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Um, be sure and let me know if there's anything that you saw in the video today that you want. Just put it here in the comments. And then whenever we pull it for you, we will respond back. Got it. So you know we saw your comment. Otherwise, you can always shop online. Um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. And before I let you guys go, does anybody have any questions? Anything else you want me to show you? Any questions on anything? I'm bouncing back through here just to see if I've got any other comments. I don't think so. So anybody have any? I'm going to wait a second because there is a lag. I know what I say it and then I think... Um, like when I watch myself sometimes, ooh, my Walmart order was just delivered. Well, that's great. Just got that notification. That means I can finally turn that change the filter button on my refrigerator to reset because I'm changing the filter. Finally. My water still tastes fine, though. You know, we're, we're okay. I mean, they're teenage boys. They don't even drink water. I'm the only one that drinks the water. Okay. I don't think I see any comments. So, all right, everybody. It's just about time for me to skadoodle out of here. We have more tennis tonight. Um, I did post the hours for the week. I will be here tomorrow till 6. That's my only free night this week. And then Leslie will be here every other day till 5 in case you guys need anything. So, until next time, I'm Hannah for the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Everybody have an amazing evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye, friends.